Hello, Whole Foods Regional Prepared Foods people. My name is David Lee. I've met many of you before. Some of you I haven't met. Um, we're out here in front of our plant in Seattle. It's a sunny day in July. It's July 1st, it's Tuesday morning. And uh, we thought we would send you this video presentation about our hazelnut cranberry roast en croute. I know that many, many of you guys are working on the holidays now for 09, and we wanted you uh, to consider our hazelnut cranberry roast en croute as a part of your menu for your um, Thanksgiving dinners and, and Christmas dinners. So uh, this is our new plant. We just moved in here about a year ago, and um, I thought we could go inside, and I'll just show you a little bit about the product. So here we are in the mezzanine, and this kind of uh, is over the top of our production facility as well as a part of our mixing room. Over here, um, this is our mixing room, and right now we're making sausages, and they're actually between batches, so they're just doing some cleaning. Um, Jared is there about, to, he's ready to dump in a little bit of, uh, that's Italian sausage mix into our sausage linker. This is our label room, and we're actually labeling celebration roast, and if you look to the right over here, you can see the stacks of celebration roast, and then those are sausages that just came down that were just cooked uh, maybe like an hour ago or so. And uh, this is an old dairy, so it's kind of a cool building. We're really grooving on being here. So I want to show you uh, like what we have. Um, for those of you that have seen this product before, maybe even used it last year, this will be kind of a little bit of a repetition. But um, I also want to actually show, uh, kind of describe to you how we make it. Um, so this is our holiday offering. This is our hazelnut cranberry roast on croute. It's wrapped in a vegan puff pastry. And um, it's got um, a outer layer of grain meat made with um, hazelnuts um, and herbs. And then inside is a sausage style stuffing with crystallized ginger, um, apples, and mushrooms. These are some of the ingredients that are in um, our, our product here. Um, cranberries uh, that we get from Ocean Spray, uh, rosemary, um, this is you know, ginger, of course. And this is a crystallized ginger. Hazelnuts, uh, we get from Oregon, and um, we actually put it in the outer layer of grain meat. So we're making our hazelnut cranberry roast on croute. We begin by making the outer layer dough. We make it basically a, 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 a fundamental, easy grain meat, and we put into that um, roasted hazelnuts and herbs. Um, we uh, place that dough into a netting. Once that is done, we then make the filling. And we, uh, we begin with uh, a grind of field roast, two different um, flavors of grind, smoked tomato and lentil sage. Um, and then we add to that uh, uh, cranberries, uh, we add um, uh, crystallized ginger and apples, and we make a, make a stuffing. we put that dough back onto the horn and we fill it like you would a donut essentially. And then we, we clip that and then we put it into the oven and we cook it in our steam oven for about two hours. We, we peel the netting off and we wrap them in, with a vegan puff pastry and then we vacuum pack it in a pack much like this. So that's actually how we make um, our hazelnut cranberry roast on crew. I wanted to explain to you a little bit about um, um, our whole holiday effort because um, this is our original holiday product right here. This is our celebration roast. And many of you have used this over the years, especially in the early days of our company. We, we made the celebration roast for you guys and you included it in, in your dinners um, for Thanksgiving. Um, but what happened was, was that we also had a retail product and there was some confusion between uh, the dairy or grocery department and prepared foods. You know, it was available in the, uh, in the dairy department, you know, for $6.99 a pound or $5.99 a pound. And then you guys were, you know, cutting it and putting it onto a platter and it was being sold for like $10.99. So there was some confusion there. And, and so what we've done is we've come out with, um, with this. I developed this uh, two years ago. And this is really just for you. This is just for prepared foods. So you're not going to have the situation where, you know, customers can be able to buy this 
you know, with the 30 margin in the dairy set opposed to the 50 margin that you're going to charge at 55 or whatever it is. A number of things that you can do with this. You can include it um, kind of whole in your Thanksgiving dinners. We can put a little label on it. We also include um, some preparation cards for your customers. Basically, all you have to do is throw this into the oven for 35, for 40 minutes or so, 45 minutes, and brown it. It's completely cooked. So all you have to do is actually cook the outer layer of dough. You can do, and a lot of our customers at Whole Foods do, um, especially it's a great way to, uh, to sample it out and to develop sales, is to cook, cook them off and then put them on a platter and then sell them by the each, you know, or sell them by the pound before the holidays. We had some uh, Whole Foods customers who have um, just you know, given three pieces to an order. If you want to do like a single order, um, that's a potential. Um, there's a number of ways that we're distributing this. Uh, we're selling this direct to uh, Whole Foods di distribution points. Um, that's how we do it in the Southwest and how we do it in the Midwest. It's also available through UNFI and we have a relationship with them this year that they're willing to kind of take it in and it's like, what do you call it? It's like an easy stocking. They're not going to carry it all year round, so they bring it in for the holidays and then it disappears. So if you're interested in pre-orders, we can do it that way too. That might be easier. Um, so thanks a lot, and uh, if you're interested, you can get a hold of me, David Lee. That's david.lee, L-E-E, -E, at fieldrose.com, or my marketing assistant, Jennifer. She can help you too. All right, thanks a lot.